Hey everyone. <coughs> we are back for a little bit. Cutscene. General Gaius? What news, Commander? Oops, I turned something off. There we go. I did not want to believe it, but Cassius is working with the Moonbloods. He has turned against us. That will be for me to decide. Our paths will cross at the Moonblood camp. Of that I am certain. I will speak with him personally. Is that wise? Our victory is all but assured, Commander. We outnumber them ten to one. We possess superior technology, and we have the element of surprise. But why welcome this rogue element? He has already slain your own soldiers. What more proof do you need that he is a traitor to our cause? Cassius is hardly a rogue element, Commander. The Moonbloods have corrupted his mind, forced him to commit these acts against us. Once I can speak with him, once he remembers who he really is, I'm certain he will return to us. But... <clears throat> yes, sir. As you wish. Cassius, my old friend, so long as you draw breath, I will do what I can to save your broken mind. I promise. You do that. Legend. Probably not going to be a whole lot of talking in this video, but I want to get this out of the way. I had a really cruddy day. Now, and it's doing this again. That's annoying. Hello. Halt! Who goes? Oh, it's you. Apologies, Miss Rock. Please enter. There's a bunch of them. They're way faster than us. Why are you guys so quick? Hey, old dude. We welcome your presence, Saint Mithrarin. Preparations for war are nearly complete. Surely you have more soldiers than this. General Gaius is nothing if not thorough. His forces have exterminated most moonbloods from this land. We are all that's left. How do you expect to win with so few soldiers? We cannot. That's why we created Sen Mithrarin. You dust will turn the tide. Ah, uh, well, no pressure or anything. Yeah. <laughs> does General Gaius know of this place? I fear he does now. What? How? One of our own has been keeping an eye on you since your travels began. A merchant, Sereth. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew that creepy merchant was one of you guys. How did a Moonblood operate so freely in the Wildlands? He is a smart businessman. Deals in all the right places. Gaius's soldiers turn their gaze from him in exchange for free goods. However, no amount of bribery could cover up that Sereth was helping you to find us. And that's how Gaius found out. How much time do you think we have to prepare? Not long, I'm afraid. The whole purpose of Gaius's campaign is to wipe us from the face of this world. Once he knows of our final stronghold, he will send everything he has and destroy us. I see all sorts of lamps here, but no fire. Is this the way of the flameless light? It is, yes. In ancient times, the Moonbloods went by another name. We lived in a great society called the Sintok and we wielded the knowledge to follow the way of the flameless light. Settle in, Dust. This could take a while. We sent a harness to power unlike any this world had ever seen. We built elaborate contraptions like these lamps, capable of piercing the darkness without so much as a spark. Well, obviously something went wrong, because we still have to build a fire every time Dust pulls out his map. <laughs> Unfortunately, the ancient tomes do not say how the Sintuk fell. And that knowledge has been lost. Perhaps intentionally. All we know is that our kind were made as outcasts, and that has remained true for countless generations. 
For the longest time, we believed the Moonbloods were the only ones left who know of the way of the flameless light. But we were wrong. When General Gaius began his purge, there were stories of their weapons. Stories of elaborate contraptions that seemed to defy the natural world. Weapons that sound identical to those of the Sintok in the most ancient of tales. What kinds of weapons are we talking about? Arrows made of light. Machines that take to the sky like birds. And we are supposed to fight these things with your... lamps. I did not say it would be easy. Nobody ever does. I did once, remember? Yeah, and you were wrong. I don't remember when that was. Well, I'm here now. Is there anything I can do to help? We are spread rather thin. Our chief engineer, Sonjin, is having trouble with our camp support systems. Go and speak with him when you can, and I'm sure he will explain further. There is also the matter of our scout, Kier. He has not checked in for many hours. But with our battle preparations, we have not been able to mobilize a proper search party. His patrol takes him east of our camp if you aim to find him. Hey, Ginger. How's it going? Ginger? Jin? Oh, Dust. It's you. Yeah, just me. Are you alright? I'll be fine. Just a lot to think about. Listen, about Jin. Yes? What was he like? He was very kind. Almost to a fault, really. I like him already. <laughs> yes, he had that effect on people. I like to believe it's what made you do all those wonderful things for Aurora and Mudpot. Like the Elder said, I may share your brother's soul, but the choices I make are mine alone. I'm sorry, Dust. I didn't mean to suggest. No, I'm sorry. I can't imagine the grief you went through in Zeplik, thinking I might have been your brother. You do have his eyes. His face. It's so... strange. You could really be him. I suppose I could be. I may not have his memories, but if his soul is guiding me to act as he would, maybe there isn't a difference. Yes, Dust. Your actions make you who you are. Then perhaps your brother lives on through mine. I'd like to think so, Dust. It gives me hope that he didn't die in vain. I'm sorry things had to turn out this way. No, you're right. We all choose our own paths. Jin chose his. And looking at you now, looking at the things you've done, I think he made the right choice. I think he did too, Ginger. I'm glad we had this talk, Dust. It makes me feel a lot better, knowing that my brother is helping to save this world. Come back soon? Of course. Goodbye for now. And his voice. I'm kind of like going in circles in that conversation, but I guess they resolved it. Hello. Ah, you've arrived just in time, Mithrarin. My name is Sanjin. I'm what you'd call a chief engineer, I suppose the term is. The Elder mentioned you needed some help? Yes, indeed. In the caverns below, we've set up machinery to provide the camp with power and water. Unfortunately, seismic activity has shut down both systems, so we need to get them running once more. I have been rather preoccupied handling the battle preparations, so if you could, I would appreciate it if you went down there to examine the generators. Sure, Sanjin. I'll take a look. Thank you. You'll need to restart the generator and water pump when you're down there. We'll require both systems to be running if we're going to stand a chance against General Gaius. Yeah. Something down there. But yeah, my day was pretty crap, so I'm not really. Hello. Not really into talking much right now. Just want to get the last bit of story stuff out of the way so we can focus on doing the last bit of 100% end game roundup.
item around it. Ow. That barely hurt, actually. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. These little assholes are hurting more than they'll ever do. The music in this game is so good, and apparently the same dudes did all the music for uh, Rain Slick Precipice of Darkness Episode 4. And uh, the music in that game is. It's, uh, it's not bad, it's just not at all fitting for the game. Like, after we had the third one, the third one was so much better than the first two, I found anyway. Like, Zaboid, they're just. Well, this is the water pump. Huh. Stop. These vines are growing all over it. I don't want to risk damaging the pump trying to cut those vines. Maybe there's some way we can burn them off? <laughs> all right. That seemed to fix it. Nice work, Fidget. Ah, stop. You're making me blush. Like games were okay, they were just so simple, you know? And the third one, while well, still being simple, was a lot more fun, I found. And everything about it was just better. Hothead. I don't know, hothead games aren't really the best. And Death Spank was fun and everything, but then they made the other two Death Spanks, which were just kinda the same game, like. <laughs> The second game was hard as balls right up until you got the, uh, the laser gun like level 14 or whatever. And then it was easy as all hell because that thing was broken. And then the third game was just terrible. Uh, I don't have any fire shield earrings. We're not going in there. Or a Varia suit. See if we can find a way to get it working again. I sense no energy emanating from the device dust. Perhaps there is a way to return its spark? Exactly. Well done, Fidget. The camp should now be receiving power. Honestly, Fidget, where would I be without you? Probably still be wandering around in the mountains outside of Rora. Wait, what? <laughs> what I meant to say was, uh, don't worry about it. Okay, that's the generator and the water pump back online. And let's return to Sanji. Yeah, I was wondering, um, <clears throat> what do you guys, <clears throat> what do you guys want to see? I wonder. Can I not turn that up? It just seems so quiet. Can I not adjust anything here? I guess you can only click. Uh, what do you guys want to see me play next? So I don't really know. Okay, that burn really hurt. Wow. Not sure why the first one didn't. Because, um. Anyone watching this, you can look through my Steam library. If there's anything in there you want me to play. Excellent work, Miss Rarin. Now that the power and water systems are working again, we can hold our ground against Gaius' soldiers. You have saved many lives this day. I was kind of thinking, kind of wanting to do a uh, Pokemon Nuzlocke run. I don't know which game.
I was thinking slow silver, because that's one of the few that it's actually difficult, I find. I also haven't beaten it. Uh, did you hear something? I don't know how long I would run. How long I would go for it. Probably just get owned. But yeah, right now I don't know what to play next. After this. Magma mantle. up for the regen. Uh oh. Oh no. Just look. It's the missing sentry. What happened here? Ah! Just look out. There he is, invisible dudes. <laughs> they all make that sound. As always, the local creatures are proving to be a continuous nuisance for us scouts. It would help if everything here wasn't perpetually on fire. I'm supposed to be on watch for warm blood soldiers, but I haven't seen or heard a thing. I thought I heard voices coming from the east earlier, but I'm sure it was just my imagination. Then he died. Jerks. I don't know how to get that to oh. Kier, but he was ambushed by Gaia's soldiers. He didn't stand a chance. Then it has already begun. Dust, we are nearly out of time. Please, help Sonjin get our camp support systems working once again. Without them, we will stand little chance of mounting an effective defense. It sounds like Sonjin was able to get the pumps and generators working again. No doubt thanks to your help. With power and water flowing through our camp once again, we will be better equipped to handle our enemies in battle and properly tend to our wounded. Thank you, Dust. I believe we are as prepared as we possibly could be. With the enemy at our gates, we have no choice but to begin our assault. Our warriors are gathering at the edge of the camp, waiting for you to lead them. Take this yellow resonance gem, Dust. Use it to open the gate. Thank you, Elder, for everything. Whatever happens, Sen Mithrarin, Know that I am honored to have stood before you. The Moonbloods will follow you unto death. Now go, and dust. Good luck. Where do we get our ability? <laughs> as soon as we grab that, we're turning back. I 
we're only missing one residence gem. And you jerks. He did his job properly. Find that one wrong. Ow, that really hurt. I did all that healing to get that health back. <laughs> it has made no difference. Okay, wall chickens. We have wall chickens. Yeah. I'm doing a good job of killing this guy. Open up. The video's getting a little long. Where's my item? It seems my secret is out, yes? Honestly, it wasn't that much of a secret. So, you were keeping watch on us this whole time? In a manner of speaking, just making sure you were well supplied for the journey. Well, we appreciate the help. I am glad, my friend. Anything you need, you just let me know. Yeah, we don't need this anymore. More of that, more of that. Ah, uh, keep those. So we get the wedding rings. Oh, did I never sell him the dog tags? Dang it. I meant to do that earlier. So they would start stalking. That's every single item. I really want to buy those, but it'll break me. We'll probably get a free one, or at least a craft one. Eventually. Thank you. There, the warriors are gathering. Ah, Mithraren. Superb timing. As you can see, our path out of the camp is blocked. Some manner of rock slide. Very unpredictable. Yes, that happens sometimes when you build your village in a volcanic wasteland. Anyway, we will need to clear this obstruction before we can exit the camp. I'll see what I can do. Uh, I think you can't get back up until you do the whole... Ugh, well the video's been going on long enough. Next time we'll grab the item, our final upgrade, and then we'll start the trek back and roaming around getting 100% of everything. So I'll see you then.